Okay. This will be an interesting one. And how big we're going to make this. We're going to have a look at our original anyway. See how we go. Just a little bit of contrast. A bit lighter. Maybe a little bit of background removal could be good to help make this look even better. So let's see what it is. It is, okay, it's a, interesting. It came out of a Chinese um, real estate paper and it's an arrow pointing to a house, a certain residence that's been shown. So now we're just going to put it on the glass. So yeah, it's almost A5 horizontally and we don't want all of the image we don't we certainly don't want the arrow so we're going to cut a lot of it off and see how that looks and if not we'll just do some work on it so now we're just going to crop this image so hopefully that'll look really good as a mirror image hopefully this, this will be a straightforward demo for a change <laughs> So let's see how we go. See if it looks any good. Well, that looks interesting. It looks very yellow. Um, the water looks very blue. I wonder if that's what the original's like. Um, but I think we've got the composition correct, and I think that's going to be our... It's hard to choose what's going to be the centre, but I think that's going to be the centre. So we're just going to go and print these off. Okay, out it comes. It's our second piece. Okay. So we just touch the corners together, even though that's curling a bit. Um, let's see how we go. We're just going to place, put two copies in, and we're just going to go and find our mirror image button and see how we go. Okay, that's line. Oh, image. Oh, fuck this stupid fucking machine. Why does it have to crop my images on the fucking mirror image? Why Konica Minolta, you fucking idiots? Can't you just make the mirror image work just like the normal image? Do we have to fucking select the bloody original size, you fucking dicks? You fucking idiots. I was hoping not to have to call your names, Konica Minolta, but now you fucking piss me off. That was a waste of toner and paper and video time. I mean, why does it have to be so hard to, to know when to press the original size keys to make, to ma manually select? You don't, why should we have to do that in mirror image? And obviously you're cutting corners just like this machine cut the fucking top off my original, off my copies. So you fucking idiots, KM. Go fuck yourselves. Go, go fuck your money. Go put money up, your fucking asshole, and bloody have an orgasm, bitches. I have no fucking respect. I can't respect Konica Minolta. I just can't respect them, folks. Really, they just don't perform as well as they should. But it's true of every other company. It's not just Konica Minolta. I've used so many different equipments, brands of equipments. Not all brands. I've used most of the major brands, and they also come up shit. So it's not just KM. All of the companies have have not got my respect. Not even Xerox, which I once used to admire, 
for being the company that created the process. Xerography, you know, Chester F. Carlson, the man who invented it, he was somebody I'd admire. But as for the recent iterations of, of CEOs, this is what I have to say.